There are several aspects to explaining what exactly the Sukkot holiday is and what it represents. And while we won't be hosting large feasts in our temporary dwellings this year, Jews around the world are still building their sukkahs, or huts in English, and buying their four species. The concept of the sukkah, or the hut, is about bringing warmth and comfort from indoors to the outdoors. The sukkah itself, with its walls surrounding us, symbolizes God's protection and his embrace. And according to Rabbi Goldberg from Chabad of Rechavia in Jerusalem, during the pandemic specifically, we find that even though those in quarantine shouldn't be leaving their homes, this is God's way of protecting us. While each of the species have their own characteristics, thus symbolizing different kinds of Jews, the third species, also known as the arava or the willow branch, has no smell and no taste. This, according to some rabbis, is a reminder to pray for those sick to recover from the virus and to keep in mind those lost. And though Chabad, just like every year, will be bringing their famous sukkah mobiles around our Jewish communities, this year the small portable sukkah holds special significance. So oh, as you guys can see, Sukkot come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, this is actually one of the smaller Sukkot that I've seen. Um, but as Rabbi Goldberg showed us before, it's really easy to fit one or two people into the sukkah. Um, and especially because of COVID-19, um, this is going to be a way for people to be able to, you know, spend time in a sukkah. Um, of course, I want to add, it's really important that anybody who is celebrating the holiday of Sukkot um, adheres to the important health guidelines, um, make sure to be with their immediate family, make sure to social distance, um, because we want to make sure that we could keep the holiday as safely as possible. From ILTV, wishing you a safe and happy Sukkot.